Hey, espresso lovers, Mark and Todd here from Whole Latte Love. Today, something pretty special. We're going to take you to the Profitech factory outside Milan, Italy, for a preview of Profitech's new Pro 600 dual boiler machine. We took the Whole Latte Love team to visit the factory a couple weeks ago, and according to everyone at the factory, Kika, here's the boss. The dog. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's Michael Hawk, and he was kind enough to take us through the whole design and the building of the Pro 600. You know, working directly with machine manufacturers and knowing their products inside and out, that's an important part of what we do here at Whole Latte Love to bring you expert knowledge and the best in espresso equipment. Uh, the Pro 600 is scheduled to be here in the middle of October of 2018. The Pro 600 is going to fill a gap between Profitech's other dual boiler machines, the Pro 300 and the Pro 700, in both capabilities and price. And Todd, I know we've had the machine here for a few weeks and you've been doing some testing and how is that going? Yeah, yes I have. As always, I'm really concerned about performance. Now, I've been playing with the Pro 600 and testing the root temperatures with my SCASE device, which is the best way to measure temperature. Uh, for about three weeks now and I was pleased to find out but not surprised that the actual brew temperatures are very consistent and you know right on where you set them. Now the 600 it has the same upgrade as the Pro 700 that gets you near two bar of pressure in the steam boiler and that, that upgrade is a feature you work directly on Michael at Profitech with right? Yeah it's a, it's a big deal. Uh, I've been in this business for almost 20 years and I've always had conversations with the manufacturers about getting a higher steam pressure. Uh, Michael and his lead engineer Tiziano are really great to work with and they came up with a really great design in this. They made it so we can get the steam pressure up to 2 bar instead of the normal 1.1 to 1.2 bar. Now with this higher pressure you can froth larger pitches of milk or you can dial it down for any size pitch you're using or any amount of milk that you're using. So Todd, before we go to the factory, what are the basics on the new Pro 600 here? Okay, here's some cool stuff in here. First of all, the base are, it's a two boiler machine, one for brewing, one for steaming, and it has two PIDs. Well, one PID controller, but the dual PID inside. One for the steam boiler, one for the brew boiler. It's a reservoir only machine, so you can't hook to a water line. It's a vibration pump, but it's a very quiet vibration pump because of the nice mounts that it has on it. Right. Now the features of the PID, well, first of all, like we said, you can get to a higher steam temperature. So this is basically has the best in category steam pressure along with the Pro 700. It has a shot timer for timing your shots. You can set it into eco mode where after a while it'll turn off to save power. Uh, you can turn off the steam boiler inside the PID, not by a separate switch. And inside the PID, you can set it to remind you when to back flush. You can set how many brews you're going to have before it tells you to back flush. Uh, now it also has new steam and hot water wine designs and they're insulated, they have Teflon tubes on the inside so they don't get too hot. It's got a new style stainless steel mushroom valve and it's a little bit smaller than the Pro 700. It's at about an inch and a quarter shorter and an inch narrower. So a lot of cool new design features on the Pro 600. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with that, let's go to the factory for my conversation with Michael Hawk for more on the new Pro 600 from Profitech. And I did the video work on this. I, I handle the camera. Hey, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. I'm with Michael Hauk, uh, ECM Profitech. That's right. Nice right? that you're here. And, yes, we're, we're outside of Milan. Um, and mm -hmm. you, ha you have production facilities in Germany as well. Yes, we have two production plants. One is in Milan, here in Piotello. The mm -hmm. other one is in Germany, in Blumenthal, where we produce the grinders and some of the domestic, but majorly the commercial machines. Yeah. Okay. And so what machines are, are being assembled here in Milan? Uh, all domestic machines except the Pro 800, which okay. is the 11 machine, and yeah. the 700. This produced we in Germany, and uh, like all the ECM range from the Casa to the Synchronica, okay. um, heat exchanger machines, Mechanica Slim, um, the, uh, the Classica, and yeah, that's that's the machines what we produce here. And this 600, it's a vibration pump. It's the vibration pump dual boiler machine. Uh, with the boiler size of one liter, the steam boiler, mm -hmm. and 0.75 the coffee boiler. You can switch off the, um, the, the steam boiler through the PID, like okay. you, you can go in the menu and change uh, T2 off. Yeah. Okay. You have the shot counter, the same thing which we have on the 700. So on the display here you'll get a shot counter when, you, when you're brewing. Um, does this have the higher uh, temperature? Yes, it has. It has. Okay. So and it, it's actually a quite good steamer even if with the small boiler size in comparison to the 700. Um, it has a smaller footprint, mm -hmm. like it's, uh, it's smaller than the 700. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the side panels you also have an, uh, a kind different looking machine like with the black internal 
which is also quite good matching to our Profitec grinder, which has the same kind of finish with the black side panels. Um, a little different, different design on the, the uh, steam arms are steam different. Arms like it gives you different uh, throating of milk. Uh -huh. um, we have the blind filter holder underneath the trip tray. Like here. here, you can store it. Mm -hmm. The nice thing on the uh, 600 machine is that the expansion valve is on the trip tray uh, or be uh -huh. below the trip tray, so you are able to access it from the outside. Mm -hmm. Like the customer can even change it later on, and. Uh, so that's where you would adjust your brew pressure, the expansion this is, valve. This is the, the, yeah, yeah, there is where you adjust the brew pressure. On the bottom of the machine you find the big uh, plate to remove. Oh, okay. Like this is the service plate, if you want to call it like that. Like there, from there you have access to the complete machine. Uh-huh. And then here's the, the, the expansion valve. Expansion valve that's to right. change your brew pressure. So um, on the Profitec 600 we have nice uh, gauges, like they are black in comparison to uh, the Pro 700 and the Pro 500. Again, the boilers in here, stainless steel. That's right. right. And again, you pref do you prefer you prefer the stainless over the copper? Uh, that's right. Yeah. And tell me, why is that? Um, like we think it's a cleaner material. Like okay. like if you want um, this scale machine with the copper boiler, you might have after a while you can have uh, the anti vacuum breaker reliefs. The vapor mm -hmm. and also water drops come on the boiler, and then you have these kind of drops on the boiler, and then it happens that it can happen that green, uh, how is called this green stuff, but right. uh, this will not happen on the stainless steel boiler, and um, depending on the on the on the thickness of the material, um, because Aaron thinks that or. Of course, uh, copper is a better heat conductor, like it heats and holds the heat more longer, but of course it, ha uh, it depends on the thickness of material, right. if you have a boiler insulation, all these things uh, taking a role in, in, in having a stainless steel boiler or not, you know. So, yeah. so, so the way that you're doing your stainless boiler versus a copper boiler, there is really no the heat, there's there is no, no really disadvantage of, no of a stainless steel no, boiler. Only no. advantages. Really. For us there is advantage of a stainless steel yeah. boiler, yes. And it seems like more and more manufacturers are moving to the stainless. So right? there must be a reason. There must be a reason. Um, now the machine's getting, uh, how to say, uh, filling the, up the boiler. Now get, they're getting checked with the, that the micro switch is sitting on the right position that when you open it, uh, that you have a still a pre-infusion and they're filling up the boiler, so yeah. And how, how long will, will they come up to full temperature here? Uh, like in 50 minutes. In, in 50 minutes they are heated up roughly. So, so yeah. you take them at full temperature here? Yeah, and, yeah full and temperature and they are getting uh, tested longer than 15 minutes of course, okay. um, just to keep them heated and uh, see if there's a leaking part and not something which has been might tight. Mm -hmm. And yeah, those machines are more or less ready for assembling the side panels as mm -hmm. they have been already tested. They, they, yeah, yeah. they come from the test panels or here, they're still warm. So. They're still warm, yeah, and yeah. just in a few minutes they will be assembled with the side panels and uh, getting stored in the and warehouse. It, and, again, and again, on the 600 here, when you, when you open it, now this is a smaller smaller profile than the 700. That's right. The, um, the, the major difference is that the steam boiler is reduced of one liter of okay. volume, like two liters in comparison to one liter. And of course you have a vibration pump, like mm -hmm. a really small pump in comparison to the rotary pump, which has a big motor and a pump. Right. Um, like, like you see it on the other bench, there's the Synchronica, and it's, it's of course, these need to have space and, uh, yeah. On these machines, you don't let any moisture vent inside. No, no. Um, so that's that, that's that, right, with, that the, with the silicon hose on the, on the anti-vacuum breaker, yeah. Uh, which is attached to the um, so to the bottom out. of the of the trip tray. Mm -hmm. Like there's a there's a small yeah. uh, valve, so, if you want to call it, or so that's going to go into into the, the trip, trip tray. tray. That's not right. inside the machine. Yeah, another another little touch I, I really like on these. Like yeah. on all the machines, you have these stainless steel um, slides to avoid mm -hmm. that when you engage a trip tray that makes scratches on the frame. Mm -hmm. This is something what we have also since. Um, three to four years in right now. And then also the, the, the frame on this is, from here to here is, is one. It's one structure. One like, structure. Like we call it, it's a T frame. Uh -huh. Like it's actually an upside down T. And uh, the machine is stable and yeah. So you do see from time to time where this, where the drip tray section on competing machines might be, have a weld here. And 
yeah. put them together, but not something you want to do. Yeah. No. Um, like with our pump holder, which we have, and um, which we use on all our machines, we were able to reduce the sound of the vibration pump, mm -hmm. so to have a silent running machine also during a period of time, like, like not only in the beginning, so also for a couple of years, because uh, the rubber need to be a certain shock, I think it's called in English too, uh -huh. like, like a softness, yes, that it's to, uh, to not taking over the, the vibration to, to the other components. Yes. Yeah, I do notice when you open up that there tends to be good shielding of electrical components from, you know, from heat. Uh, yes. is, is that, you know, you really think about where these components are in the machine when you design one? Yes, we, we, we try to make it as clean as possible and we try to have the control boxes, the, the entry of the electricity on one side that we're wiring as short as possible mm -hmm. and that you have the pre-assembling of one part, everything together having the wiring done in a neat way, like not going above the boilers. Right. Uh, like, like it's to, to make it more, more cleaner at all, yeah. And it's, it's got to add to reliability after, you know. Yes. I mean, right. these machines can go for decades, right? And it, so. A, a small change, what we're going to do, just that you know that, it will not change the, the um, how to say, the, the, the machine a lot, but the positioning of, of the safety thermostats here, we're mm -hmm. going to change uh, to to this area here. So we're going to move that, that this wiring don't go above the boilers, uh -huh. they will go underneath here. Okay. Just, just like normally okay. we don't have to do it. Right. Uh, but we think it's, it's the nicer line out of the machine. If you, here you can see the wiring go straight away from the boiler. Right. You don't go over the boiler. Right. Like right. here we go slightly over the boiler, mm -hmm. but we prefer to have prefer the wiring a bit longer, but then going down, just right. to have it as clean as possible, built up. Okay. Yes. So that's a sneak peek at the Pro 600 from the factory outside Milan, Italy. Our first order will ship around the middle of October 2018. And based on my initial testing and Michael's dedication to every detail of the machine, the Pro 600 is one of the best values in a reservoir-fed dual-boiler machine. You know, Todd, after seeing all that, the Pro 600, it's definitely set up to hit the sweet spot of quality, performance, and price. We'll have more on the Pro 600 in the coming weeks, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Mark with Todd. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we hope you'll come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.